And it was nearly five years ago when this 88 mile per hour fastball drilled Giancarlo Stanton in the face. The result was a facial fracture, dental damage, and an early end to the outfielder season. Since then, exponentially more pro ball players have opted to wear this. You may have seen it. It's called the C flap, and it's an attachment to batting helmets designed to protect the batter's cheek and jaw. Bryce Harper wears one. Mike Trout wears one. Yachty even wears one. And it's assembled right here in St. Louis. Unfortunately, the C-flap is now facing a curveball many may be unaware of. Mark Wart Sporting Goods started in St. Louis 88 years ago. Yeah. Their hottest selling item in 2019? Should have had you help me do this here. The C-flap. It's all day, all day going on. The sales keep Marie Hudson busy. All from the time I get in to the time I leave here. She and her team can barely keep up, it seems. Never have enough. I don't care how many you got. This, these haven't been put in stock yet. They're waiting to be put in stock. The batting helmet attachment was invented in the 1980s as a way to protect a hitter's cheek and jaw, but really has taken off over the last five years because of growing safety concerns. Yadier Molina was one of the first stars to wear C-flap before he got hit. So now that major league players have attached themselves to the C-flap, so have youngsters. All the youth players seeing all their star players wear it, they want to wear it too. Unfortunately, the safety product received a strike last year from Noxie, the National Operating Committee on Standards for Athletic Equipment. They're an independent nonprofit that sets safety standards for athletic equipment. In order to attach the C-flap, you have to drill a couple holes in the helmet, but the process is very simple. The finished product looks like that. According to Noxy, however, attaching the C-flap may void any safety certifications. The issue for us is very specific. When equipment is certified as compliant with our standards, it has to be certified in the configuration in which it's going to be offered for sale. In other words, adding the C-flap attachment creates a new model of helmet that hasn't been safety tested. It's then up to the manufacturer to decide whether to void the safety certification or not. In some cases, this means little leaguers won't be allowed to wear C-flaps in a game. Noxie's also doubtful they'll ever certify a C-flap because they feel coverage to the hitter's face is inadequate. Rather, they recommend batters using a face guard. To Mark Wart, there's a big reason batters don't use face guards. You have to be able to see the ball if you're going to hit it. And the uh, C-flap allows you to do that. So they're hoping baseball organizations embrace each player's personal decisions regarding safety. This is what we're going to do here. Because Mark Wart believes the C-flap makes hitters safer. Yeah, you, know, you can always ask Keith because he, he, he knows too. And so does Marie. Because I know I wouldn't want my son or, you know, go out there and faces here, face ball coming at me, you know, without some kind of protection, you know. Okay, so as far as youth baseball players go, AAU baseball has adopted the C-flap saying that anything that aids in safety is approved. The National Federation of State High School Associations is allowing teams to make their own decisions regarding use of the C-flap. They granted both teams that uh, granted both teams agree on terms before the game. And if you have a child in Little League, they only allow C flaps if hitters have a notice from the manufacturer stating the attachment doesn't void the helmet's Noxie certification, and that notice must be shown to the umpire before the game.